and girls. Today we're going to be talking about commas. And commas can be kind of confusing, so I brought somebody here to help me, and I want to introduce you uh, to you our comma llama. So I think we should watch him dance. So let's put him down here. Here we go. <laughs> about commas. So maybe you can do the comma llama dance later when we get finished. So here we go. I want to show you some cards and I want to show you some um, items. Remember we've been talking about commas in a series. So here are my items and I have used it in a sentence. So we are going to be putting commas where they need to go. And my commas today I thought were really cool. We have these in our cabinet. This is macaroni. So I actually pulled them out of a box of macaroni and cheese. So uh, maybe your parents have macaroni and cheese at the house and you could ask to borrow some. Maybe you're going to have it for supper one night. Now look, they're uncooked, so you can't get them like out of the refrigerator if you've already cooked them. That would be really gross. So these are going to be our commas because they look like commas. So let's see if we can decide where they need to go. All right, so we've got cake, ice cream, and cookies. So look at my sentence. We had cake, ice cream, and cookies for dessert. So let's look. The comma needs to go, remember, in between the places where we have listed these items. So we had cake, 
ice cream. Now, it doesn't go here because, look, ice cream is one thing. So, we can't put it there. So, we're going to put it here. Ice cream and cookies for dessert. So, we need two commas and the and is right there. So, we're starting off easy with three items and then we may make it a little bit harder. All right, let me put this to the side. Here's our next comma in a series sentence. All right, so we have shirt, pants, and shoes. So, my sentence says, you need to put on your shirt, pants, and shoes. Now, remember, you can hear where that comma is if you read your sentence correctly. But if we don't have those commas there, it's hard to figure out how to read it. So, look, our commas need to go after the item. So, look, we have a shirt. Put your comma. Pants. Another comma. And shoes. All right, let's go to the next one. All right, so we've got... Trees, flowers, grass. My sentence says, the trees, flowers, and grass grow when it rains. So remember what we said, the comma goes in between our items. The trees, flowers, and grass grow when it rains. All right, let's keep going. Hopefully, hopefully you're getting the hang of it. All right, basketball, baseball, football. I like to play basketball, football, and baseball. So think about where those commas should go. You got it? Here, let's check our work. Basketball, football, and baseball. And it doesn't matter what order we put them in. I could have said baseball, football, basketball. It doesn't matter. Just as long as we put our commas there where they're supposed to go. All right, I've got two more. All right, pencil, paper, crayons. You will need a pencil, paper, and crayons. Pencil, paper, and crayons. There we go. All right, one more. Whale, fish, turtle. Let's look at the sentence. I saw a whale, turtle, and fish at the aquarium. All right, here we go. Remember, after each item, whale, turtle, and fish. Now, remember those commas are taking the place of all those ands. So, we wouldn't say I saw a whale and a turtle and a fish. It sounds better like this. All right. Now, I think we should see our comma llama dance one more time. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm going to move all over and we're going to scoot over just a little bit and we are going to quickly see if we can figure out which ones belong in the correct and incorrect column. So look, here's a column and here's a column. It's important that we see what they look like. So I've got some harder ones in here. Now what we did just a minute ago with the pictures, that was pretty easy because we haven't really practiced any, but this is a little bit harder. So let's see. Let's see if this looks correct. Or incorrect. So, we love to swim, hike, and fish. All right, let's check it. We have a comma here after swim, a comma after hike, and we have our N. So, I think that one is correct. What do you think? Yeah, uh-huh. Look, yay, we got it right. All right, let's look at the next one. The cat is white and black and brown. Hmm, I think that one is incorrect. Do you know why? I hope you're thinking it's because there's too many ands. Let's see if we were right. <gasps> yep, that is incorrect. All right, so look, in order to fix it, we don't need that and there. We need a comma here and a comma here because we're listing our colors. The cat is white, black, and brown. So I'm going to put it here. We'll just turn it over so that way we don't get mixed up. Okay, ham and cheese sandwiches are delicious. Now, we only had two things there. So we really, you know what? That's correct. It doesn't need any commas because it's only two things. Yay, we got it right. All right, let's try this one. I can play the piano, drums, and flute. Okay, we have our comma and we have our and, but we're missing something. We're missing a comma somewhere. Do you know where it goes? All right, let's check ourselves first. Yep, we're right. It is incorrect. 
but that comma needs to go right here after piano. Because look, here's one thing, the second thing, and the third thing. Okay, my favorite colors are blue, green, and red. That sounds good, and you know what? It's correct, I, I think, because look, there's one, two, three things. I have a comma here, and a comma here, and my and is in the right spot. Yay, we got it right. All right, look at the next one. Oh my, look, carrots, peas, broccoli, and beans are yucky. All right, I'm noticing something. This isn't three items, this is more than three. Look, one, carrots, two peas, three for broccoli, and four for beans. So they listed four things. Let's see if we have our commas in the right places. A comma after carrots, a comma after peas, a comma after broccoli, and there's my and. Now, I don't think they're broccoli, but some of you guys may think they're, think they're yucky. I <laughs> think they're broccoli, you <laughs> think they're yucky. All right, so look, we got that one correct. All right, let's check these other ones. Sally, Peter, Joe went to the party. Ugh. All right, so we have commas. We have three items, three people, but we're missing something. Something doesn't sound right. Sally, Peter, Joe. <gasps> I got it. We're missing the word and. And look, that one was incorrect too. So look, look, you can't leave out that and. You got your commas in the right place, but you have to remember to put the and before the last item. All right, one more to check. I have a pet snake, dog, cat, bird, and rabbit. All right, that was really confusing because I have no commas. So I'm gonna say that's wrong. No commas. And look how many things I have. I have a pet snake, that's one, dog, cat, bird, rabbit. Oh, that is five things. So we have to put commas. So our first thing was the snake. I have a pet snake, dog, cat, we just keep going, bird, and rabbit. So don't get tricked when you're listing more than three things. If you're listing more than three things, you still have to put commas in those two. Okay, boys and girls, I hope you got the hang of those commas, and I think we should leave this lesson with a dancing comma llama. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the lesson, and I'll see you guys next time.